Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is the end of the day and I have crazy hair. I hope you don't mind, but I just wanted to come on here really quickly and show you um, a haul that I recently picked up. I'm gonna call it drugstore haul just because it's Ulta Drugstore and Walgreens. So I'm gonna con kind of combine them together. First, I'm gonna start with Ulta. So recently it was my birthday and I picked up my birthday gift and it was really cute. I don't need it technically because I have two giant sizes of these, but this is the spray and play sexy hair. Um, but it says happy birthday sexy and I couldn't resist getting this you could get this or I think it was a mascara or something like a deluxe size sample mascara and I'm like this is too cute to pass up so okay, I got a couple that. powders that I picked up and uh, blushes I picked up a highlighting powder from revolution this is the vivid baked highlighter and I picked mine up in radiant lights it's kind of like a champagne -y color it's just like a little bit of a champagne nude it looks really pretty but I've heard great things about it so I'm hoping that it's as great as I heard and then I also picked up this revolution blush I'm gonna try to open these and show you so this is the revolution blush and I picked it up in nude and I am excited to try these because I've never tried anything from revolution so this is nude like a favorite and this is what the highlighter looks like so nude blush and highlighter in radiant lights. Next thing I picked up is a repurchase. I'm so excited to have this back in my life. I didn't think I would ever repurchase a setting powder, but I did. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I love this powder. This is such a great powder for $3.99. I highly, highly recommend picking this up. It's just awesome. Towards the end, which I've never hit pan on any powder, so this was big for me. But towards the end, when I did hit pan on it, it did start to crumble when you would touch it around the edge. But at that point, it's not that much left. It's $3.99. Just go buy a new one. So I did. Okay, I also have this in the banana color. This is the NYX Finishing Powder. And I don't have it in the translucent. And I want it in the translucent. So I'm excited to have this. Um, I've heard great things about it. So Yay for powder. Really excited about this. I've been wanting to pick these up since they came out, but I didn't do it yet. I don't know. But for my birthday, they sent me off a $10 off thing. So I figured, you know what? Why not do it now? Uh, this is one of the new buildable blush matte from blushes from the rock. And this is in chroma. So it looks like that. Just a beautiful, like, it's like a mauvey dusty rose oh it's so pretty i'm so excited to have this in my life my friend jana cookie on here she talks about these all the time and i've been so like oh i need one of those so finally i got one and i think i'm definitely gonna I also one. picked up a precise eyeliner brush i did touch this the other day i don't know if this is going to be really worth it it's from essence i hadn't seen this on there before it just may have been out of stock but it is a very precise little brush. It has a green little tip to it. It is, it's very flexible, but it does have a little bit of sturdiness to it. So I'm just gonna have to try it out and see and play with it and see if it's worth it. Next thing I picked up that I'm really hoping this works good because I've tried the Build a, build a Brow one um, from uh, Benefit and I didn't like it. But this is the X Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara. So it's just like the Give Me Brow. It has a little wand. I got mine in kind of more of the blonde, it says blondie brows. So the more blonde color. So hopefully it works good because it was really cheap. I want to say like $2.99 or $3.99. Totally. Okay, two more things from Essence I picked up. These look so much like the Maybelline Elixirs. So I wanted to give it a try and see what it was about. This is the liquid lipstick. This one is in Beauty Secret Casanova, I believe. And it looks like this. The doe foot applicator. It kind of has that little like perfect lip line to it. One thing I will say about these versus the Maybelline ones is that I think they're a little bit more sticky and not as opaque. The Maybelline ones are really opaque and this is just a little bit more sticky. It does have like a nice vanilla cake smell to it so I will let you know about this one. I also picked this up. This was a Sheer and Shine lipstick. This one is in... Candy Love number 12. And when I say sheer, I do mean sheer. It is like a buildable sheer, 
but it is definitely more like a tint than a lipstick. So it's like a very baby pink tinted lipstick. Last thing I picked up from Ulta is um, that I was really excited to see is that they had um, Shea Moisture, which I did a nail polish review on them a long time ago. Um, a couple of their nail polishes. It's basically like, you know, an organic friendly kind of thing. But they, um, they do all kinds of things now and they have branched out into makeup and it was a new makeup stand that was out there. They had blushes, they had um, eyeshadow palettes, they had all kinds of stuff. And at the time, I only decided to pick up a lipstick be just to try it and see, not knowing you know if they're good so or not. I picked this up. This is Super Fruit Sheer Tinted Lip Gloss. And so like I said, it is all natural. It looks really cute. It looks a lot like the Hourglass um, lip glosses, but it has, instead of like a plastic, pretty glossy cap, it has like a matte little finished cap to it. Oh, I don't know about this. It's your typical classic doe foot applicator instead of kind of the new ones. And it came out kind of clear. So let's put it in just one more time. Nope, that's it. It just has ju just the dot of stuff on the end the the applicator itself is very dry it's just like one little dot at the end oh it is look so like every time i pull it out it's basically dry except for that one little dot at the end that's not cool it would take you so many times to get lipstick out okay let's see so this is it smells really good it smells very fruity but that is it and that is more than sheer that is almost invisible <laughs> um it's a little tacky but not too sticky so i'll have to try it out and see for sure but this is definitely more than sheer that is like almost invisible might as well wear chapstick so i'll have to let you know about that moving on to walgreens I picked up one of the, or two of the new geometric highlighter powders, one in Desert Explorations and one is Where the Dreamers Go. So very interesting. We shall, okay, so I'm not holding up too much hope here, but these are what they look like. Ooh, this bluish one is really pretty. It's like a very nice white pearl. This is more of a pinky nude. Ooh, these are pretty. Okay, I like these. I have one of these already. I have it in like Coral Crush or something. I picked it up in T Rose this time. This is the Milani powder brushes. I love these. Little goes a long way. They're really, really beautiful. And I had just keep hearing so much about T Rose and hadn't picked it up and needed to finally pick it up. And look at that beauty. So gorgeous, just such a beautiful, beautiful blush. I also decided to pick up only one because I've heard mixed reviews about these. These are the new Milani Everyday Eyes. Um, this is Earthly Elements. This is one of their new palettes. This is the Earthly Elements one. I'll have to let you know um, once I get to play with this a little bit what I think about it because I wasn't that impressed when they did like the foiled eye kind of look. And I've never really tried Milani's eyeshadows other than the Bella Eyes ones. And those were really amazing. So I will let you know about these. I'm also very late to the party with this, but I finally had to do it. It's a super sizer because I don't need more mascara technically. But um, I've heard good things about this. So this is the super sizer mascara from CoverGirl. I'm really excited to try this. I also picked up two Wet n Wild brushes. These were new. Um, it's the large eyeshadow brush and the crease brush. So that's what they look like. Cute, pretty pink little tips on them. I'll let you know my thoughts. I also picked up new, and I'm excited to try. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfector. I got mine in light 20. Um, provides sheer coverage while clearing breakouts. Salicylic acne, acne treatment. I figured that it would be good on those days when you're kind of doing like a no makeup makeup. You want to kind of look like you're not dead and red and dying but you don't want to necessarily look like you have a bunch of makeup on um so we shall see about this one i love these so much that i had to pick up two more these are the rimmel these are the rimmel only one lipsticks i am so happy with these they're such beautiful colors and shades and i love the feel of them they're moisturizing without being um like they're not sheer look at that like that is pigmented this is your all mine that's what that looks like. Beautiful. They're moisturizing. They feel good on the lips. Like 
really impressed with these lipsticks. This one is It's a Keeper. It's a little bit more nude mauve. If I could get it correctly. A little bit more of a rosy mauve. Very pretty. And then I think I have two more if I'm correct. Either one more or two more of these. But that's how much I liked it that I needed to get more. I love the Rimmel lipsticks. They're moisturizing. They stay, they're not like an eight hour wear lipstick, but they stay long enough. And I really like them. And the price point, you cannot beat. Okay, that is my quick drugstore haul from Ulta and Walgreens. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.